It was July 7, 2004, and Jordan Daniel came into the world like most babies do, kicking and screaming. Normal, healthy baby. We didn't think there was absolutely anything wrong with him. But several months later, everything changed. He started having sleep apnea spells where he would completely stop breathing in his sleep. He would turn purple and blue. Um, we'd start CPR and call 911. Um, after three episodes, um, we went to the hospital and they found a mass behind his left lung. Jordan was taken to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis where he was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, a very aggressive form of childhood cancer. Doctors found his tumor had wrapped around his spinal cord. It was the beginning of a long and trying journey. His tumor grew, it, it grew towards his heart and compressed on his heart causing high blood pressure. Um, so we stayed there, did um, chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, and more chemotherapy. We were there um, at least eight months. The aggressive treatment took its toll on Jordan. They would stop his chemo on one day. Three days later, he would be very, very sick. Threw up all the time. Completely lost his hair. Um, he did have his eyebrows and his eyelashes, but all of his hair was gone. I was just hoping and praying that I could keep my child. When he was a year old, doctors declared Jordan cancer-free. There was a big celebration. When you um, come off a of treatment at St. Jude, they give, you, um, give the child a party called a No More Chemo Party. Um, and they basically have all your doctors and nurses come in and they sing a little song to the child, throw confetti and streamers and all kinds of things. It's really, really exciting. We came home shortly after his No More Chemo Party.